Hello there everyone, this is me Ethan here and welcome back to another custom Lego minifigure video. And with the release of the Batman to celebrate, I've decided to show you all how to build a better version of Robert Pattinson's Batman from Matt Reeves' new movie, The Batman. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so starting off up top with the helmet, I decided to use Ben Affleck's helmet from the Batman v Superman wave of sets, but personally I actually got this from the minifigure accessory pack that released in 2021. I like this much better than the one that LEGO decided to go with that they started using all the way back in I think 2012 or even earlier. This helmet just doesn't work at all. It doesn't capture the style of Robert Pattinson's helmet remotely. I think the smaller ears work better and overall just this open area looks much more better than this closed off sort of jawline, if you will. And then next up, I actually put a white piece of paper on the back of this helmet because you guys don't know, there is a hole through the eye area because normally for these Batman helmets, they are designed like this where they have a white strip or goggles on the top because the overall anatomy of a Lego minifigure wouldn't work out well if the eyes are all the way up here at the top and the mouth is down here, it would look really, really off. So what I decided to do was put a white piece of paper on the inside and then I used one of these staff pieces and sort of pushed it through so it pops out a little bit right there. I don't know if I'm explaining that great, but essentially it stays in with the mask so I can use a human face and put it over and I have a better expression than the one Lego decided to go with. I'll pull it back up right here. The one that was used in a lot of earlier Batman minifigures like comic versions and stuff. This head does not work well at all, but this one could work. It's a, it's a lot more pale, which works better for Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne. And I don't like the smirk, but this face certainly would work a lot better if you have that. But if you want to use the paper method, which I would highly suggest, then you can use, um, I can't remember his name, but he's from Harry Potter, his face and put this helmet over and I think that mouth and that jawline works really well whenever you put the helmet over it. But Lego did happen to include their own head for Robert Pattinson, which was used also in the Harry Potter wave in the same year in 2021. I think this head also works pretty well. And if you put the helmet over it, I'd say it works just as well. He looks a little bit confused. But I think it works quite well, honestly. Sorry, I'm picking up something. But I think that works pretty well. And say, for example, when he's in the Batmobile and he's screaming in the movie, this face works pretty well, especially for that, what have you done? Where we couldn't hear what in the world he was saying whenever he was interrogating Riddler in the trailer. I think that works really well. But I like using this better for a custom Bruce Wayne. So if you want to use this head from Harry Potter, I think it works better under the mask. Obviously the alternate expression on the back where he's smiling, that doesn't work too great. Obviously Robert Pattinson's Batman doesn't really smile ever. So I would definitely suggest just using this head and I think it works really well. Now for the cape, I used the cape from one of the Mandalorians from the Mandalorian Battle Pack. I like this better than the basic Batman cape that they always use with the, um, the little points on the back. I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. And his cape looks a lot shorter in the movie. You can use a regular size black cape if you want to. I think that would work well, but personally I like this better. Now for the torso and the hips, I use the official torso and hips because I don't know what else is better to use. I think the back torso print looks great even though most of the time it's covered up. I think the slight shine for the uh, bat symbol on his chest looks simply fantastic. It's a really well done torso. I just wish that there was like a little bit of black on the background and would have been printed on a black base for a torso. But to improve upon it, I used the Black Widow 2020 arms from the Avengers Game Reverse sets. I think this works really well. He has like these gold things on his wrists and he also has some shoulder pads. I know these arms have been so overused in the Pierce Custom community, both on YouTube and Instagram, but it works incredibly well for the Batman here and you just can't deny it definitely helps out the figure. And then like I said, I also use the hips from the official Batman minifigure for the Batman sets. So the torso print can continue down because I decided to use dual molded legs to show that he is wearing boots. Now the original legs did have more printing on them. They had the straps and all, but they weren't dual molded and it looks really off on the side. 
they're great looking legs and they work well up against it. I don't think I'm doing that justice there, but anyways, great prints on here, just not dual molded. So I just took the hips from here and got the dual molded legs from the 2020, I believe, Miles Morales legs. So you get the boots there. And I think that helps the figure out a lot. And finally, on one last note, here's how you could have Bruce Wayne unmasked no longer as Batman. Once again, you just use that same Cedric Diggory, or actually it's not the Cedric Diggory head, it's the uh, Tom Riddle head from Harry Potter that they used in the official sets. That works really well as Bruce Wayne, like I said before. And then the hair piece I decided to use was from Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. I think that works well for the very emo Bruce Wayne that we have in the movie. So if you put that all together, you have yourself your very own custom minifigure of Robert Pattinson's Batman from the Batman. I am very happy with this upgrade. I'm probably going to keep the minifigure like this. If I'm being completely honest, I really dig the look of it. And I think it certainly improves upon the original minifigure that was already pretty great. It just needed some improvements. So what did you guys think about the Batman? If you've seen it already and stay tuned for my upcoming review that is coming very soon. I'm very excited to share my thoughts on it. I thought it was a pretty great Batman movie. So if you all enjoyed this custom and if you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye and have a great day.